Okay, the next two behaviors we're gonna go over, good boy, are stay and park it. So stay, um, he does not need a mat. Stay just means freeze where you are until I release you. So our stay cue is palm up. Uh, during the stay, we're gonna go to Rocky and reward him, and then we can go away. We're gonna come back and reward him, and then go away. So um, on a stay, we have what we call the three D's of stay, and that is distractions. That could be my kids running through, it could be bouncing a ball, whatever. Um, distractions, distance. Can I go three feet away or can I go 10 feet away? Can I go 20 feet away, you know? Um, so distractions, distance, and then duration. So can I hold it for 10 seconds, a minute, five minutes? All those things you can keep building up on your stay and your park it over time, okay? It takes time and practice. He is, uh, he's doing really good. But if I was gonna put him in an environment where there was lots of distractions, I'm gonna really cut back on my uh, maybe duration and distance. I'm gonna stay right next to him and help him get it right. So um, train up each of those things separately. Um, there'll be a little more detail on all of that in your homework. So I'll call him over and we're gonna do a quick stay. So Rocky, touch, touch. Good boy. Rocky, sit. Uh -huh. I just kind of block the park it mat. He really likes park it. Whenever you move the park it mat out, where they can see it, it's like a magnet that pulls them in. So Rocky, watch me, stay. So I'm gonna just walk around a little bit. Good boy, stay. Good boy. I'm gonna come back and reward. And I'm gonna watch him. As soon as he finishes chewing, watch me. I'm gonna ask him to stay again, stay. Stay. Ooh, a flare. Good. He really likes that toy. Good. Stay. Good job. Yep. Yeah, do a little jumping. Uh uh uh. Sit. Stay. So the jumping jack was too much. Stay. Maybe I do half a jumping jack. Right? I go, oh, it's a little too hard. I make it easier. Stay. Oh, and I'm dropping treats everywhere. Stay. So I get a jumping jack plus treats on the floor, which I think is pretty good. Watch me. Okay. Good boy. Okay. So now the next thing we're gonna do is go into the park it. Rocky, come. Come boy. All right, so park it, I'm gonna point, sorry, do it. I could just say it, but I would point to the mat and say park it, and I want him to go lay down, so he's doing great. Now on park it, I like to toss the treat on the mat. So I a better tosser. Great, so he turned around and laid down, that's perfect. treat it like a stay. I don't have to say stay, um, but I'm going to do the going away and coming back and rewarding. Um, park is a little more relaxed than stay. Stay, we always want to give an ending to it. Um, park it, like if, if you asked him to go park it and he was chewing on a bone and he hung out there a while, that would be fine to me. Um, you know, I'm just wanting to send him away for a little bit where my stay is pretty solid. Like stay means do not move until I release you. Good boy. So I hand him the tree, toss him the tree. This would be a great one to practice if you're trying to chill out on the couch and he's all in your face. Bring out the park it mat. Again, it helps to move it out, okay? Like actually move it. Um, even if you're moving it like three feet, you move it away from where it normally is and then send them over to park it. And you can sit on the couch, watch TV, do whatever, and then randomly toss treats to him. So he's learning, hey, if I hang out away from you, I'll still get rewarded. Good 